it just amazes me the actual quality of work that the children produce from nursery right through to year six absolutely fantastic i'm just amazed at how the, the results he gets with children so young and the, the older children as well he's just amazing the results he gets so i think it's given the teachers the confidence because he does everything in a step-by-step -step way um, which, the t uh, which the teachers can follow and then they can pass that on to the children. I remember when I was a child at school and, and I was hopeless at art. I, I always felt I was hopeless at art. Never enjoyed it, used to dread the lessons coming up and I, was, I think I was made to feel as though I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Whereas Hugh, um, he really boosts the confidence of the children and because of the way he structures the lesson, everybody can succeed from the less able to the very gifted children. We're a very inclusive school here and whatever we do, we try to ensure that every single child from the youngest to the oldest, the less able to the more able, are included in everything and they can all succeed. In other areas, not just literacy and numeracy, but we like them to succeed in art, in music, you know, in the creative subjects. You can see the concentration on their faces and they're really trying their best to get those little details in and get the paint just mixed in the right way. It's really fascinating to watch them because many of our children have lots of barriers to learning and they, they come with a lot of baggage from home and, and they need lots of self-confidence boosting and. Hugh does that through his artwork. We want to develop the whole child and give them an opportunity to excel in other areas other than the, the academic, if you like, the academic subjects. Oh, you can see them physically grow a couple of inches with pride because they're so pleased with the end product. Mm. We look very carefully at the people we invite into our school and they have to have certain qualities and be able to relate and empathise with our children. That's really, really important to us. It's the same when we invite football coaches in or rugby coaches. They have to be able to re relate to our children, otherwise we don't invite them back. It's step by step, each, each um, stage, stop, come to the front, go back, do it. And with, with the voices, as, as Hugh was doing it, they're going, wow. Their self-esteem when they've, when they've done something like this and they can't wait to take their pictures home but we're doing uh, displays and then they'll be able to take them home. I don't remember doing art at primary school but I do remember vividly uh, my art lessons at secondary school. Um, I got the lowest grade I think you could get then which was an E and my art teacher said that I was rubbish so I believed that I was rubbish and I've felt like that all my adult life since. I've noticed that uh, because I've been in Hughes classes, um, it's a very calm environment. Um, it lets people work at their own mm -hmm. ability level. There's no pressure and it's, it's really helped me because it sounds silly as an adult but um, I've actually produced some good watercolour work that I've, that I've kept. <laughs> it's the basic steps as well. Um, you sort of like takes it step by step, really small steps, which for children it is a big thing. Um, it tends to, to stop at really good pauses and says, you know, is everybody happy? Have we all got to the same stage? And it, it reaffirms everything that he says and talks really. It talks, he has a really good rapport with the children as well. I, I personally think that at the beginning of the lesson when you shows what they're going to achieve I think a lot of the children think that they can't achieve that but with the way you works with the children and does it step by step like I said before um, I think they're actually astounded by the end product. I know I was astounded by my end product so I've still I've kept it. Um, so you've actually kept the picture that you did within the school as a teacher can you just explain it to me what, why, why do you think you've done that? I think it just relates back to the experiences I had in my art lessons at secondary school and you, are, you never forget how you felt if you felt you were a failure or you were rubbish at something. So I kept it to remind me and then I try and pass that on to the children.
you know, how, how good you should feel about it. And then I think the end product yeah. is that uh, as a school, we celebrate each other's achievements. Yeah. So would you call yourself artists? Yes. Yes, <laughs> Mrs Aspinall. <laughs> I think the whole spectrum of learners are covered. I think his lessons are really inclusive, yeah. which is what education is all about now. Yeah, and we, we find that especially with the children with special educational needs, um, it has a really good effect on those children. Um, the calm environment positive. again and the positive feedback from you. I think the self-image is definitely a lot higher. They yeah. feel more positive about themselves. And the self-esteem. You can see them going you out to children them. with smiles on their faces mm. and they, they are really happy that they've mm. achieved something that they didn't think they could do in the first mm. place.